Ok, so welcome to my YouTube channel, La Fisica Che Ci Piace, where learning physics and mathematics is amazing. I'm talking to a friend of mine, she has been working here for years. She is Despina Hasifotiadu. Ok, yes. can I, can I, correct. It's, it's correct, ok, perfect. Ok, Despina, so I want to share with my students the passion that a research in physics can feel here, working here, having possibility to talk to other people here, making physics, new physics, making experiments, and so it's a passion to talk about that. So, first of all, how did you start here? How I started? Well, I studied physics uh, in Greece a long, long time ago, and I guess I chose physics, one, because my mother was a physicist, so I was influenced wow. by her, and also we had a very good physics teacher which made things so interesting that I said, okay, this is it, this is what I'm going to start. Okay. So after my degree, I got a position as a laboratory assistant, mm -hmm. and in this way I did my PhD in a small CERN experiment at the Lear. The, that was at the time the low energy anti-proton ring, which okay. has now had become LEIR, the low energy ion ring. So the name is changed yes. a little bit. So that's how I found myself in this uh, environment. Uh, after my PhD, I had uh, a fellow at CERN mm -hmm. for two years, from 85 until 87. Okay. And at that time I worked in uh, OPAL, which was one of the lab experiments. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, I remained here. I never went back. Okay. So that's the story. So but I, I know that you worked for a little bit of time in Italy too? or well, not? I, I have a position in Italy actually yeah. now. After I've now I've been living here since uh, 85, so it's okay. almost... Uh, no, sorry, I, uh, that was wrong. From okay. My fellow was from 87 until 89. Okay. I've been living here since 87, and after the fellow I got involved with an Italian group, and eventually I got a position as a researcher, as a first researcher in INFN. Okay. Sezione di Bologna, but uh, I stay here, I live here. Okay, so you have been living here More for, for a long years. time. More okay. than 30 years. It's, it's incredible, it's huge. So, in your opinion, yes. why is it important for students, especially for students, but for people in general to visit this place and eventually having some experience in research or study here? Well, for people who, who just come for a visit, like okay. people general public or school classes and so on, I think it is important because uh, they, in this way they get an impression of what CERN really is, because nowadays there is quite a lot of publicity about uh, CERN and its research and so on, but I think it makes a difference when you actually see the place. Yeah. One thing to, to see a little bit the, the experiment, uh, part of the accelerator, just to have the visual uh, impression. But also it's important because when you come here, you see the people and you see the you know, yes, normal you, people. You can the see thousands of thousands of thousands of different people that are yes. working here. Yes. And so, and it's especially, it's very important in this couple of years uh, because it's a shutdown time. So, but what about visiting here? It's well, certainly more there is a big interest from people and... Uh, going uh, down in the, the experiment underground, uh, underground is, is very yeah. exciting and uh, certainly we in Alice in bracket I work in the Alice experiment which is one of the four big experiments of LHC the one mm -hmm. that specializes in studying heavy ion collisions okay uh, we are open for visits we are doing a big uh, upgrade during the shutdown so we have to combine work and visits, but certainly from the moment that um, the cavern opened, uh, which was before Christmas, okay. we get continuously visitors, schools, universities, colleagues, and so on, okay. journalists, and so on. Perfect, perfect. So we know that uh, there is a very important project now in CERN uh, called High Luminosity. Probably in the nearly future, it will be possible to analyze more and more data. Well, something. the idea of uh, the upgrade that's happening now is to increase the luminosity of uh, LHC, okay. meaning the number of collisions per 
second and per unit of surface. In the end, it has to do with the number of collisions we get per second, per day, per year. Yeah. What is interest? What is of interest for all the experiment is to have as much statistics as possible. Mm -hmm. And for Alice, uh, this uh, improves the, this extends the range where we can do our studies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Alice, we don't do discoveries of uh, new particles, like for instance uh, the Higgs boson that was discovered um, some years ago or uh, the so search that is are, going on. Yes. You, actually, you study the quark gluon plasma. plasma yes, which we study this uh, exotic state, yeah. which is uh, assumed to be the primordial state of matter. Yeah. It is believed that uh, all matter in the universe was created at the, big, at the moment of the Big Bang, okay. and that a uh, few fractions of a second after the Big Bang, under conditions of extreme temperature and extreme density, uh, all matter was in a kind of uh, soup. Mm -hmm. The quarks, uh, basically, which uh, are the constituents of protons and neutrons, and the, the gluons, which are what binds the quarks together, were free yeah. in this state. That and is this is the difference because the quarks were free in that state. Yes. Of course, this state lived a very little time because as the universe was expanding after a point, the quarks became permanently confined inside protons and yeah. neutrons. And what we do in Alice is that uh, by colliding lead nuclei, which travel almost with the speed of light, we recreate a tiny droplet of this uh, primordial matter. Wow. What we assume happens is that at the point of collision, we have a temperature of trillions of degrees, we have very high energy density, 30 times higher than the nuclear density, and under these conditions, the constituents of the lead nuclei the protons and the neutrons, they are, it is as if they melt. Okay. So the quarks and gluons inside them become free for a very short time. Got it. In addition, the kinetic energy of the, the quarks is transformed into mass, so we have the production of new pairs of quark and anti quarks. So all this exists as a kind of a soup for a very, very short time. In the experiment, it is 10 to the minus 23 seconds, <laughs> but still from... Uh, what we see by studying these uh, lead collisions and comparing with the proton collisions, which happen most of the time in LHC, Three. we deduce that indeed this hot and dense state is created. And what we see is uh, things like uh, that it behaves like a, a perfect liquid, which was a surprise when it was first observed because one would have expected a behavior rather, rather like a gas. Okay, what, 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 when was the time yes. you observed for the very first time this, this perfect liquid? I'm curious. Well, this was actually announced for the first time before LHC had started uh -huh. by the experiment at the RIC. RIC, which means Relativistic Heavy Ion Collider, uh -huh. is a collider of heavy ions at Brookhaven near New York. Wow. Where they collide the um, uh, gold nuclei. Okay. Gold is also a very heavy element, a little bit lighter than, gold, than okay. lead. The energy there is uh, lower than uh, LHC, mm -hmm. but the, it is the RIC experiment that first announced this. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when LHC started, the first lead collisions were at the end of 2010, if I remember well. Okay. So, uh, with the first uh, data, it was, this was confirmed. Okay. And then we saw other interesting things, like uh, the fact that uh, this uh, hot and dense matter interacts with the particles that uh, travel through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes some energy gets lost. And then we have many observables, that, uh, many ways of studying this uh, matter, okay? It's incredible. And with, um, with the increase in luminosity, the range of our studies will be extended, so you know we will have more more results. So it's incredible. We're happy. So we had a quick lesson of a physics, <laughs> uh, but it's it that it was special for 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 us for for me and my students as well because uh, it's incredible to talk about physics that could be difficult to understand, but actually it's not. Physics, it's understandable. Physics, it's about passion. It's about knowledge. It's about future, nearly future. Thank you, Despinat. You have the, uh, this interview with me. It, it, it has been wonderful for me. Very I appreciate pleasant. it. Okay. And okay. see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.